right, we're checking out the only game where the more myths we bust, the more I want to set my computer on fire. It's GTA. Well, after the last videos, the suggestions for myths to be busted continue to roll in, and some of them are paragraphs long. But because I'm a sicko, I've got Alex and Danny to build me scenarios to make these myths come true. Let's do this. Okay, so... <laughs> This one says you can't skydive through the monument in the downtown, ow. Through the monument in the downtown Legion Square and survive. So I had to figure out with Alex what exactly this is talking about. We found it. The problem is there is literally the smallest hole. Ugh. It's a skydive through like it's possible maybe but just barely I feel like people just enjoy seeing me ragdoll to death. Okay, uh, I don't know if I can fly through this I might have to try and pull my chute right at the end. I don't know if I can get the forward motion All right, here's the plan Halfway through I've got a oh god uh, Halfway through I'm gonna pull my chute and that should pull me through the rest of the monument. This monument's color used to be gray. <laughs> Soon it will be red. I almost got there. I think this is possible. I don't think that the, I don't think the parachute will open all the way. I just need it to slow me down a little bit so I can get the rest of the way through. That's too low. The other problem is the parachute doesn't pull right away. Like it takes like a, an eighth of a, it takes like an eighth of a second, so I'm always behind. Oh, this looks good, this looks good, this looks good. Now, I caught the top of my once blonde hair on the stone. I actually need to change my hair color to red just because it's caked with blood. Now, okay, that was that was my new personal best. It's just me dabbing on the haters over here, ragdoll style. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the timing and how many forward pumps of the joystick. Uh, yeah. Cause yeah, if you can't, you have to open it inside. I'm, I'm going to do this. I don't care what it takes. Now. Yes! Yes! No! No! You die if you hit the ground from... <sighs> okay, hold on, I, I, I think I can still do this. What'd you think, I was gonna let a, let a myth go unbusted? Now! Okay, yes, yes, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Onto the next myth. This says you can't skydive into a small, falling, burning meteorite and survive. I don't actually know if the meteorites are what kills you or the fire burns you alive. Well, first I have to find a way somehow to dive onto one. I've dove onto a car and I've dove onto a person. Diving onto a meteorite while it's falling is going to be really tough. Okay, that meteorite looks good. Oh, all right, that meteorite completely yeeted itself out of existence. Guess I'll choose a different one. This one looks like a peanut. That's pretty sweet. Oh, oh, I'm still alive. I mean, I hit it. I didn't really land on it though. And it wasn't burning, so I can't count that one. Come to Daddy Gray, you beautiful burning ball of death. Oh, wow. All right, I really need to kind of steer myself a little bit lower. Oh, they're not on fire anymore. Well, that kind of ruins everything. Oh, this one's on fire. This one's on fire. Come here, Raymond. Come here. Come here. No! Well, this is going to hurt. Never mind. Boop. Okay, this one's a really big meteor, right? Uh, well, I kind of missed that one. That would have been a perfect size meteor, right? How about one of these? Yeah, that right. Okay, man, is it? I, it is really hard to land on a meteorite. Uh, you wouldn't hit that blimp, would you? Oh, it didn't hit the blimp. That, never mind. Just let me have my one burning meteorite. Oh, I got it. And no, it doesn't kill you. You're totally fine. It actually doesn't even set you on fire. Sweet. Okay, next myth. Okay, this is just by someone who clearly hates me. It says, is that a piece of a plane in the middle of my thumbnail hole? It says you can't wall ride through multiple thumbnail holes. <laughs> Alex says he wasn't really sure what it meant by multiple, so he decided to put 13 on here, you sickos. There we go, one. Oh God, this is gonna be impossible. Ah, uh, yes, unlucky 13. Okay, so high and then slightly lower, way low. Oh, uh, <laughs> how am I supposed to make that one? I love how someone just says, Thumbnail holes. Uh, and Alex is like, how can I make this harder? I know, I'll stagger them all over the place. You have no idea how many thumbnail holes I've wall rid through. Oh, God. All right. Here we go. 13 holes. One, two, three. I, hmm, 
I really need to think about that one. All right, here's the plan. I haven't made it past the third thumbnail hole yet. We're gonna drift it down and then pull up. Not yet, watch now. No, okay, I can get, this is amazing. <laughs> I mean, it didn't beat me technically. I just can't go home now. Okay, one, two, there it is, three. Oh God, four, five. Oh, sweet Jesus, six. Oh my God, I'm doing it. No, let me have this. One, okay, two, slow and drift. Three, four, five, mid, low, then mid, then mid, then low, then top. Oh God. Yet, I don't know how many that is. I'm almost there, oh, I'm almost right there. This is going to happen, Alex. Oh, let it happen. Okay. Okay, I feel, I feel pretty good about this one. I feel real good about this one. All right, then low to high to mid. Low to high, I got it, to mid. Oh, that was small. On to the next mid. This one says you can't kill a seagull by skydiving into it. <laughs> what? All right, we got our seagull prepared. Yay! Okay. And ow. Um, actually the problem is gonna be hitting the seagull. It's so small. Come here, Mr. Seagull. I wanna hug you. Ugh. It's basically the state bird of Florida. Ow! What's crazy is if the seagull like, ugh. I'm so close. If the seagull drank blood to live, like it would have a feast down here because my juices are just spraying out of my cranium all over the place. Uh, that looks pretty good. Never mind. <laughs> I headbutted the seagull, but it's still alive. I, I think I have to hit it like flush. I headbutted that seagull like I was playing soccer. Uh, now I'm never gonna be able to hit that seagull again. I mean, I didn't, it wasn't- Watch out, watch out, watch out! Yes! Do you know how much pain you caused me, you little flying rat? Onto the next myth. This says you can't blow up a flying helicopter with a ruiner using non-guided missiles. I think you guys just like to see me try and hit stuff with these stupid unguided missiles. Because first off, I have to deal with the fact that the runer wobbles all over the place, and then I have to deal with the fact that, like, the missiles never go where you shoot at all. All right, pop it. That's actually that was actually a really good yeet. I can't arc. I gotta like, I gotta like pull upward though, because the problem is if the helicopter gets too high above me, there's no way I can arc my shot that high to hit it. This one actually might be good. Here we go. Uh, now, nope, now, that was kind of close. Okay, at this point I'm just guessing. <laughs> All right, we got a helicopter over at the three o'clock over here and pop it, pull it, there we go. Oh, this is good, this is good. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now, ah, oh, come on! And like, and they do evasive maneuvers too. <laughs> I think I can actually line this up. <laughs> I tried. Waiting on you, helicopter. Pop, pull, and fire. Uh, okay, so the missiles are actually like slower than I remember them. I gotta, I gotta like, oh, 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 it was against the building, it's so close. If you ever needed something to keep you from making bad choices like riding an alligator in a tiny children's pool, Florida Man Coffee is the way to go. FloridaManCoffeeCo.com. All right, this one's low, but I think I might be able to arc down. Oh, I don't want to run into it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got it while I was in mid fall. <laughs> Next myth! Oh, I got the motorcycle down! Okay, so this is one of the paragraph ones. It says, you can't stick a sticky bomb to a spinning turbine prop. And then have the prop go up and blow up a helicopter that is flying above the wind turbine. What? <laughs> first off, first off, how are you supposed to get a sticky bomb onto the turbine? How am I supposed to do this? Because the, the sticky bomb throws so slow. Like, when am I supposed to release this? I don't even know if I could throw it high enough. Actually, I have a plan. All right, see, if I throw it sideways, then I'll, I'll have the prop there most of the time. The fan for the... Man, I still can't get the... I still can't get it, like, high enough. Okay, I might need some assistance from a vehicle here. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this, okay? We're gonna put this right on the side of the wind turbine. This should prop me up enough in order to throw a sticky bomb onto it. This is assuming you can even throw a sticky bomb onto a wind turbine. I've never tried this. Okay, we're gonna climb up here. 
And I should be lined up pretty good. Well, it's not sideways, so I'm just gonna have to throw it the old-fashioned way, but I think I can get it. Yeet. Yeet. I'm, I, maybe now? Uh. It's gonna be great if this whole time I've been trolled and there's absolutely no way to throw a sticky bomb onto the, the fan of the wind turbine. You have no idea at this point how many of these I've thrown to try and get on the turbine prop. I don't even know how much- Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh god! Oh god! Okay, I don't want to have to do this again. Alright, uh, okay, so- Okay, 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 I got it, okay, it's on the top prop right now, okay. I just gotta follow that prop, and the second it gets close enough, wait for it. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> I'm busted on the next one. So this says you can't fly a prop plane inside of one of the top floors of a construction building with the red bars and survive. Now, luckily, <laughs> I've actually had to wall ride through these buildings before, so I know what you're talking about. Okay, so here's the trick. The bars don't technically count as props, so you can go through them with a car. I would assume... Oh my god. Uh... Hmm. Okay, I think all that happened was I caught my landing gear on it. Here. Low. Okay, so you can go through it. I just have to figure out a way to slow down quick enough to not die. So the difficulty of this isn't actually getting through the tiny thumbnail hole of the top level. It's it's landing it. Oh, I'm gonna try and stall it onto the top level. Here we go. Ready? And... There you go. <laughs> On to the next myth. Okay, this says... You can't shoot a rocket, add an oppressor Mark II, then outrun the rocket using Super Run, then get on the oppressor and fly away before the rocket blows you up. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so I have to shoot the rocket, use Super Run, outrun it, get on the oppressor, and then fly away. Here we go. And boop. All right, so Super Run, outrun the rock. Oh, God. Oh, God. <sighs> The problem is going to be getting onto the oppressor. Uh, if I aim right at the end, okay, like right about here. The problem is, oh god, I can't mess this up at all. Go Ow! Oh, and the super run hit throws me so hard that I hit the wall and like knock myself out. Okay, so I need to do a lot of things perfectly here. And rocket, run. Now don't hit the. Okay, get on it. No! Oh, I was right there. Okay, here's the plan. The oppressor has a boost. We're gonna use that. Boop. Okay, run it. And don't hit yourself. Okay, good, get on it. Boost it. Ah! The animation is what gets me to get on the oppressor. I have a quick question too. Why would anyone come up with this? Like, why would you suggest this? Pop it. Run it. And, oh, 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 oh I'm dead. Attempt number four million. Boop. Outrun the, outrun the missile. Get, no, 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 no. How many oppressors must be slain? Uh, there's no way. I don't care how many times it takes. Out of the way. Get on it. Go. Boost. Yes. Yeah! Well, the myth is busted, and so is my will to live. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay hockey, much love.